he raised the bar really for trumpet players and uh, well, for brass players really and also for for just British musicians and uh, you know he was amazing he had absolute focus and dedication for his art and uh, as musicians in this country we've got a lot to live up to to uh, continue his, uh, his great his great work when uh, when I was working quite a lot with Derek when he first found out he got sarcoma and um, as Derek described it earlier on and uh, he was determined to not stop playing at all it was incredible at one point, I was doing a show with him every night in London. He was doing eight shows a week, and he was, he was in the studio in the day doing an album with, um, was it George Michael? He was in the studio every day with George Michael, and he was working every night. It was absolutely incredible. And if you didn't know that he was ill, if you hadn't been told, you would never have guessed that he was poorly. His, his work ethic was incredible. You know, he was a real, he was a real example, example to us, you know. Um, his focus was beyond belief. Um, even in the last months when he was very, very poorly, he did the, the last James Bond session for the last film, you know, he was quite a, an ill man then, and he still, he stuck with it and he was there right to the end, it, I, you know, it, it beggars belief really, his, his energy levels were incredible. Uh, so yeah, when, when I was invited to do this, it, it really sort of shook me really, because it's quite a responsibility having that sitting over one shoulder. <laughs> but also, my first ever trumpet teacher's in the audience as well, I've not seen him for 20 years, <laughs> I'm terrified. So uh, um, <laughs> please uh, forgive any mistakes I make today. <laughs> Mr. Dave Henson in the audience, look. He's been responsible for it. <laughs> so uh, this last number we're going to play, uh, this is an example of Derek. He, he was a fantastic powerhouse, but he was also a real interpreter of music, and he didn't need to play high. He could just give him a beautiful melody, and he would just make it sing. You know, you could really hear the centre of the song when Derek played. Um, and back in... Maybe five years ago he was doing a show called Hairspray, which I, I used to do a lot for him. And at one point he was out in the Netherlands with the Metropole Orchestra, and they, they, uh, they wrote a, an arrangement of a song called uh, Little Girl Blue. And it's beautiful. If you ever hear it, if you get to... You can find it on YouTube somewhere. It's on... on oh, the, there you go. You can buy this, it's, it's the most beautiful, simple song. Um, and I'm going to try and play it now. It's, it's even more difficult than playing high, playing nicely. So uh, we're going to try and we're going to play Little Girl Blue. <coughs> Straight ahead.
Thank you very much, everybody.